Hello, hello everybody. Hope everyone is doing amazing and well. So, um, I wanted to talk about something that I think is, um, I don't think many people talk about. So, um, I talk a lot about how important it is to know your sexual truth. Um, I talk about this more so to my my male clients than I do my female clients, but I think it's very important for all people and all of my clients to do this. So um, I think it's vitally important. What's up, Marcus? Vitally important that we journal about our um, sexual experiences. We need to journal about our um, sexual, um, you know, any type of sexual experiences we have. Plus, we need to journal about what we um, get most aroused by in our private time. I don't think enough time is spent with understanding that if you are indulging in adult films because you are somewhat um, not out there with many different partners or you haven't really explored with different people that you can trust. Um, sometimes we hold back how we um, feel about physical interaction with someone that we're not really in a relationship with. So we hold back a lot of times what we want to do sexually. So a lot of times what we'll do is will resort to adult films. I get it, trust me, it's all good. But um, what I think is important that many people don't think about is if you are into adult films, if you are into porn or you're into masturbating often or anything like that, you need to be writing this down. You need to be understanding what it is that moves you sexually. I think a lot of times we're just doing stuff and we really don't realize that we get data off of things we keep track of. So I think it's important that you sit down and you really start to tap into, well, I'm sexually moved by certain things in certain movies that I see. Um, I'm moved by somebody's way they talk to me or I'm moved by certain experiences that I've had in the past. And then write it down. The reason you should write it down is because you get more knowledge about what you need sexually that maybe you don't even think about. We spend a lot of time doing things absent-minded, not realizing that we can find out a lot about self in doing them. So why I say it's important that you sit down and you really get centered and honest with self, even sexually, because sexually... We find a lot out about ourselves creatively. So with that said, in your private time, when you are touching yourself or you are watching adult films or you are doing whatever you're doing in your private time with yourself, by yourself, start to pay attention to what is it that moves me? Why do I tend to go to this movie more than I do go to that movie? And what is it about this movie that moves me to want to climax and become more aroused? Why is that important? Because when you learn these kind of things, you start to find out, ooh, okay. So this is something I need to know so that when I'm learning this about myself, when I do finally have an intimate, um, sacred bond with someone or, or have a partner or whatever, then I can tell them what it is that moves me. Now, it's not all on the partner's uh, plate to make you feel the greatest you've ever felt. It's now your responsibility. Make sense? So a lot of times we, we think that all oh, this pressure we're putting on our lovers, like, well, you got to do this for me, and you got to do this for me, and I'm waiting on you to make me climax. Well, it's not always their responsibility. Sometimes we need to sit back and say, well, wait a minute, in my private time, when I'm by myself, I'm doing this to get aroused because there's nobody here. 
or I'm getting aroused because I'm just moved sexually for whatever reason. When I get off work every day after my shower or whatever, I find myself in my room getting excited and aroused to want to have, you know, an orgasm. I want to climax. Okay, so with that said, now what? After you climax, then what? What did you feel? What did you do after that? Did you feel tired? Did you feel exhausted? Did you get, did you get more energized and get busy starting to do stuff? What happened? Because we're doing stuff, like I said, and we're really not taking into account that we can get some real good data off of what we need when we say, hey, Angela, we get we actually get some serious information about ourselves. We often do stuff and we don't even realize we can learn about self just by paying attention. So again, I tell you all the time, start writing down certain things that you find out about yourself. When you're sitting back and you're like, man, in my private time, I like to do this. I, I kind of like doing this for myself. I get more relaxed before I do this. For instance, a lot of times we may just want to have a bubble bath. Bubble baths tend to get us really in the mood to just be in a relaxing state. Perhaps we need to do that before a lover shows up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you might find yourself more intrigued, more moved sexually because now you're aroused. Does that make sense? You're aroused to wanting to climax. I think it's imperative that we don't only journal about it, but we start to really find out what is it that moves us sexually and why? What is it about me that makes me get moved by certain things? I was moved by my man saying this to me. And when I was moved by that, I was more desirous of wanting to be intimate with him because of what he said. It's even that deep. It could be something he says. It could be something he does. And it doesn't always mean, it had to, let me put this out here. It doesn't always mean he's buying you something. It can mean he just tells you he wants you in his space. He wants to see you. That can be more important than getting the roses from him. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's imperative that we sit down and really pay attention to what is it that I need sexually. And then when I get what I need, what does that do for me after I do it? I'm just saying, we're doing a lot of stuff out here. We're not paying attention to what it does for our bodies, for our soul, for our spirit. If you're masturbating a lot and it's taking up a lot of your time and you're not doing anything else, then perhaps it's doing too much against what you need to do. So you need to sit down and say, what is this bringing to my life? If I am masturbating a lot, is it because I'm not getting something outside of this that I need? If that's the case, what am I going to do to change it? See, I talk all the time about resolution. Are we, are we willing to sit down and resolve some stuff? Or do we want to just keep doing stuff and feel depleted in the end? It is vitally important we sit down and pay attention. So like I said, if you're constantly doing something, because we can get kind of obsessive with it. We can get to the point where we're just masturbating and we're masturbating and we're masturbating or watching porn and we're not really letting people know that we're actually considering wanting a relationship or we're wanting to be you know sexual again it doesn't always require those two to go together if you want to be sexual again it doesn't necessarily mean you have to have a relationship just put it out there i'm wanting to be in an, in, in an arrangement i want to have someone i can trust that i can spend time with and be sacred with and have sexual time with just keep it a buck if that's what you want then say it and stop resorting yourself or, or confining yourself to try to make stuff to be comfortable from our, for other people. If that's what you want, say that. But again, a lot of times we don't know our sexual truth. That's why I'm having you to write it down so you can learn about your own desires and wants and needs. So then you can pro project to the person or people that you're interested in to interact with sexually. So you can tell them what it is you need and what it is you want. Does that make sense to people? I'm just asking. Is it, is it resonating? Is it making sense? When you know you, you can have no problem with telling someone, this is what I want. This is what I need. This is what I desire. This is how I, I seem to find myself 
Because see, when you start writing it down when you're sexually moved, you start writing it down. You start saying, ooh, I was moved at about 3 o'clock every day. This past week, something about 3 o'clock. What is that about? Then you got to pay attention. Well, you know what? At about 6, 3 o'clock, I have digested all of my food. So now I'm feeling like really moved to be sexual. So now you know, okay. So when I get a hearty meal, after my hearty meal, I seem to find myself more aroused. Ask yourself what it is that moves you sexually. Once you do that, you start to realize more about you. When you learn about yourself, when you know what your body needs, when you know what your body desires, you're then able to share it with the lovers or lover of your choice that you want to be with and share that sacred space with. Just that simple. It just takes a while to really know what it is that you're moved by. But you have to first, like I said, start dissecting what it is you like. Pay attention. If it is something that you enjoy watching, like a movie or adult film, be honest with yourself. What is it about that film you like so much? Why is it that particular scene? What does it do? What does that do for you that makes you get so aroused and moved to want to be sexual? All of these things is data for you to learn about you. So when you do end up having or you do have an already established love affair, you can project out to your lover what it is you want and need sexually. And it makes it so much easier because now it's not a controversy. It's not something your lover has to figure out to keep you sexually happy. You already know what it is. <laughs> you can tell them what it is. It's that simple and easy. It's not that hard. But again, you know, it comes to a point where we have to start journaling some stuff. And you know what you might also find out? Oh, there's something about a certain place that moves me, that gets me wanting to be kind of sexy with him or sexy with her. I'm finding myself, like, whenever we go to this spot, I don't know what it is. It just makes me want to start touchy, feel, being touchy and feeling all over that person. Okay, go there more often. Or when you're not really feeling like you want to get sexually moved, go over there and you know that might move you. We have to pay attention. Again, we're not paying attention to our own soul, body, minds, needs. And so that's why a lot of people are sleeping back to back or sleeping on one end of the bed and the other on the other. Or one's on the couch and out of the room or whatever. A lot of people sleeping separate. It's not by accident. It's because after a while, when you don't really know yourself, you can't really tell somebody, I don't know why I'm not sexually moved by you. I'm just not. Okay, but it's not about them. It's about you not knowing self. And that's what causes so many people to get sexually frustrated. If you would sit down and pay attention to what it is that moves you sexually, you might find out, oh, I can get moved by this. Wow. Maybe if I go to the park and I just happen to hear waterfalls or something and it just moves me. Now when he calls me, I'm just wanting to hold him and caress him and touch him and be sexual with him. It's just that it could be something so small. We make everything complicated. I don't understand that. Why can't we just make stuff simple? It's just that simple. Start to chart down and write down what it is you want sexually. Then talk about what you need sexually. And then pay attention to what it is you desire. And once you do that, you will start to be like, okay, this is what I want. This is what I need. Now I can let the lover of my choice or lovers of my choice know what it is I desire. It's hard to tell somebody about self if we don't really pay attention to what we in ourselves need. It's just that simple. But again, nobody wants to write now, well, I was moved here, I was moved there. But maybe you should. You might find out some interesting things about yourself that you didn't know. See, we always think that we get sexually moved because of how fine somebody is. Or we might get sexually moved by what somebody says or how sexy their voice is. And sometimes it, that don't have nothing to do with it. Sometimes it's something way smaller than that. Sometimes it's something like, hey, I happened to go to this location and it moved me. I happened to think of this person and it moved me. And now, because I know that, now I can sit down and say, okay, this is what I know about myself. 
And once I'm in a relationship with somebody, I can tell them what it is I want. I can tell them what it is I need. And now, you know, it's not as much of a hassle to figure out, well, why aren't you ever wanting to be with me sexually? Well, you're not hitting me on my peak times. My peak time is this time, this time, and this time. You coming over here wanting to hit it on my low peak times. But how am I going to know that if I don't write it down and journal it? I'm just saying. Think about what I'm telling you. I don't steer y'all wrong. I'm telling you now, you start writing down when you're sexually aroused and moved, you're going to find out some deep, interesting things about yourself. And then you're able to reveal that to your lover or lovers. And then that way, you'll have more enjoyable, fulfilling, loving, intimate, sacred, joyful sex. <laughs> I'm just saying. Make sure y'all share this video. Listen, if you haven't learned already, I just came back from um, my show this evening with my girls over there at After Dark. We had a ball. We talked about safe words and foreplay. I shared it to my page. Make sure you check it out. It's about an hour and 15 minutes long, but we had a ball. Let me tell you, we had so much fun and we talked about some really intricate information. So make sure you share this. After you share this, get you a glass of wine. Sit down and just vibe and just listen to what we talked about. It's some deep stuff you're going to get from over there. I'm telling you, it was dope. Um, and just know that at the end of the day, um, the best way to become the best lover is to first learn about yourself. And then you're able to let your lovers know on the back end what you need. And if they really care about you, they're going to make sure that those needs get met. Trust me. Trust me. All right, guys, I'm out of here. So uh, have a good night, everybody. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Bye, guys. Have a good night.